Hello, and welcome to day five of my Stoastarma video challenge, in which I attempt to make a video every day for the month of January. Today is day five, and this is video five, so so far, so good. Uh, today, today I'm going to be talking about something of a very adult nature, and so before I get started, I would like to say, as a warning, uh, this video is not for children. I don't really consider my channel to be geared towards children, but this video in particular deals with very adult subject matter, uh, including details of crimes of a very heinous nature and also some uh, profanity. I'm using direct quotes from the people of the time, and so it's hard to avoid. Uh, so once again, this is not for children. If you are a child watching this, it is time to watch something else. If you are an adult and there are children in the room, you may want to watch this at another time. That having been said, let's begin. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Karl Panzram, serial killer, rapist, thief, arsonist, and all around not very nice guy. Uh, who had an interesting co connection to uh, President William Howard Taft. Um, Panzram described himself as being rage personified. When Panzram was 11 years old, uh, he stole food and a revolver from a neighbor. Um, this is his first recorded crime, and he was then sent to a reform school Unfortunately, at this reform school, he was horribly abused, both physically and sexually. Uh, in 1906, he was paroled and released, and then in 1907, he enlisted in the United States, Mil United States Army. Um, unfortunately, shortly thereafter, uh, Panzram was convicted of larceny. Uh, at this point, he was sentenced to Leavenworth until where he stayed until 1910. Uh, his sentence was approved by then Secretary of War William Howard Taft. Uh, Panzram blamed Taft specifically for this and always held a grudge about it. Uh, in 1920, uh, he broke into former President Taft's mansion and stole some jewelry, some bonds, and a 1911 Colt 45. He then sold the jewelry and, and bonds and used the money to buy a boat. He then went to New York and used the boat to lure, and would lure out sailors uh, onto his boat where he would get them drunk, sexually assault them, and then murder them with Taft's Colt 45. Uh, he killed 10 people in all this way before the boat sank. There were two other victims on board the boat at the time of sinking and they managed to escape. Uh, nothing is known of what happened, of their whereabouts after that. In 19, after that, he spent years traveling the world and he committed various other crimes. Uh, in 1928, he was arrested for burglary, once again in the United States, and was then sentenced to 25 years in Leavenworth. Uh, a year after his return to Leavenworth, he murdered a prison laundry foreman. At that point, uh, he was then sentenced to death. In 1930, he was ultimately executed. He uh, reportedly spat in the executioner's face, and his last words were, hurry up, you Hoosier bastard, I could kill a dozen men while you're screwing around. Charming guy. Taft, on the other hand, went on to become Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and is, to this day, the only person to bo hold both positions of United States President and, and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Um, I find this case 
disturbing in a lot of ways, and I left out some of the harsher details. However, it is very interesting to me that he stole a gun from a former president of the United States and used it to kill 10 people. Uh, why this isn't more well known, I don't know. Uh, that seems like something that you would have heard about. But anyway, uh, thanks for listening. I apologize to anyone who was offended by the content. Um, and uh, I hope to see you again next time. If you liked this video, well, you know how YouTube works. Uh, and so uh, until next time, stay spooky. Have a nice one.